Good afternoon, year two. What a pleasure to see you again. We are continuing our work on RE today. Uh, last two lessons, we looked, number one, at what is a mosque. And a mosque is a place of worship for Muslims. And lesson two, we looked at some different parts of a mosque. So we looked at the prayer hall that faces towards Mecca. We looked at the minaret, which was the tower where the prayer to call comes from. We looked at the dome and the dome was the top of the building that was shaped like a semicircle. And we looked at the mirab, which was on the wall and it showed the direction of Mecca. Today, we are going to be answering this question. What is wudu and why do Muslims do it? Okay, so wudu is when a Muslim goes to a mosque, they take off their shoes and clean themselves before they pray. It's to show respect and it's called wudu. Um, so they are making sure that when they've come in from the street and they've got, say, for example, dirt on their shoes or they might have uh, food on their hands or something like that, just the dirt of everyday life, that by going in and washing and cleaning their hands and they do their wrists and their forearms and they wash their face and they wash their ears, uh, and they take off their shoes, and we'll see in a moment, uh, they put them away, and then they wash their feet as well. Doing that, being clean, being tidy, being fresh, that's a sign of respect for their prayer. It means they're able to go into the prayer room and be clean. They're able to go into the prayer room and not make a mess. And also, it kind of prepares you. If you think about when you have a shower or a bath in the morning, that's kind of like preparing you for the day ahead. And this is very similar. This is preparing a Muslim to go and do the prayers. So let's have a look at how this actually works. Uh, and just before we do that, uh, you can see here you've got a question to answer already, which is why do Muslims perform wudu before they pray? And we've just talked about that. And then the next part for today's lesson is two boxes. And it's quite a simple activity. First off, you have to fill in the gap. So remove your mm and place them in the racks. And second off, you say head to the wudu area and wash your blank blank and blank so you fill in those but also there's two nice spaces here to do some drawings so hopefully the pictures on these next slides will inspire you to do some amazing drawings so muslims do not wear shoes when they go into the mosque and that's to prevent dirt and mud coming into that sacred space and sacred means holy it means special it means important so you can see here they've lined up all of their shoes on the edge of the mosque uh, and they've gone inside not wearing shoes so even if you or i i'm not a muslim but if i went to visit a mosque you still take your shoes off before you go in okay and here we have they might leave them outside or in most british mosques they leave them on a rack like this so you'd remember where you put your shoes but you take them off and you go and put them in one of these racks so you could draw that on your little picture you could draw a rack with lots of little pairs of shoes in it and next, they go to an area like this, uh, a wudu area, to clean their feet, hands, arms and face. And this is a little bit like um, a bathroom or a toilet that you might experience. Uh, and often there'll be toilets in there as well. But this is um, a different arrangement to a normal tap because you sit on this stool and you turn the tap on. And then you do this process where you start with washing your hands and then you wash your arms and then you wash your face and then you wash your feet um, and the water comes down from this tap and it goes over your feet and it drains away so they have these special areas just for doing this activity called wudu areas so you could draw here the wudu area and you could draw here you could draw the shoe racks and that's wudu so wudu is to recap the process of cleaning yourself and getting ready to go and pray it's a sign of respect and it's a sign of preparation for Muslims when they go into the mosque. There'll be shoe racks where you can put the shoes. And here there'll be taps uh, with water where you can wash yourself uh, before you go into the prayer room. Right. So I hope that was interesting. I'll see you next week. And we're going to be looking at Salat. And Salat is the Muslim word for prayer. So we'll have a look at that. Have a great weekend and I'll see you later, guys.